Hello viewers, Super GT here. How are we doing? Okay, so I have managed to get Forza Horizon 5, an early preview copy. I'm gonna just play through as much as I possibly can before Playground Studios come and find me and tell me to stop. I'm just gonna try and go through as many different things as possible. So have a look in the linked comment below for like timestamps and stuff. Yeah, let's just jump straight in. And we're gonna go with the um, performance mode so I want I want 60 FPS. Okay, we can choose our name here. So I'm gonna flick through this quickly. If you wanna see, you know, just pause it and you're about to see this a lot easier. All of these names. Noob. We have noob. Your Majesty. Um because I can't be able to think of one, let's just go with X. Okay, here we go. Okay, so we're going to drop in. Um, as most of the Horizon games start, you're going to drive to the festival in a range of cars. Um, that's kind of not really any different than before. So you get to, you know, experience a few different cars. I'm going to fly out of this plane. Okay, so I'm just going to play this and just go through my thoughts, you know, and just give my honest first take impressions on just how it is. Um, so first thing I must say, it looks visually, it is very good, and that I mean that's always going to be true. I do need to turn the music off before I get demonetized. So let me just do that quick. In fact, streamer mode on. I'm just going to turn the radio volume all the way off. Okay, right. But yeah, I was saying um, as ever. Forza Horizon 5 looks very good. Um, so this is the first you know, sort of big title I've played on the Series X. And they've most certainly done it justice. Looks really, really good. Um, will do, mate. Um, so I do actually have to commentate over this. I can't just give you raw gameplay. So for those of you like... Please be quiet. Don't want to listen to your voice. Well, you have to, I'm afraid. Um, if you want to listen to my voice more, then uh, do get yourself subscribed because, of course, we'll be playing this game to death. Act my actual death when the game releases at the beginning of November. We're not too far away from the game release. Uh, there might be a little bit of traffic ahead. Watch out for that. So I've got the assists on at the moment. I've just got the custom assists. Uh, sorry, the normal assists. Oh, hello. Textbook landing there. So the new uh, the new Corvette. There's a big uh, dust storm in the distance there. Let me before we drive this. I wanted to change the settings. Um, normal. Save. But yeah, the menu here, very similar to what we've seen in previous games. Nothing too different here. Um, but this accessibility op uh, option is pretty good, actually. You know, really trying to get everyone involved. And Microsoft have done a really good job on that. So I'm just going to flick through these quickly, very quickly. Just, you know, again, pause it if you want to have a better look at these um, options. I do just need to change this though. So for controls, I'm running the um, so I'm running on a controller, by the way, and um, I am playing with shift down X. So I'm I'm using the you know when you flick across the buttons to uh, shift up and down. Uh, advanced controls, I'm not going to change those. Audio, already had a look at that video. Yeah. Language, extras, team credits. Okay, so that's pretty much all the options. Cool. Now let's drive. Okay, so. Yeah, so I'm pressing like A and B. Oh, hello. Pressing... So pressing A and B to shift up, A and X to shift down, and you get a bit more extra speed when you do manual with clutch. So it's kind of worth doing. I mean, visually, this game, it looks incredible. And I'm sure, like, 
watching it on YouTube. I'm sure it looks good, but it, it doesn't actually do it justice. Oh my god, okay. Okay, I need to work my break in there. Um, but yeah, just watching it on YouTube never does it quite justice. It looks beautiful. Drive through this sandstorm. It's a rude sandstorm coming right up. Song name in here, guys. Okay, so a bit of off roading. Let's see what this feels like. So, nice weight. Got slight vibration on the controller. Out of the way, flamingos. Uh, slight vibration on the controller. You can really feel that through the water. How's the Use a bit of handbrake. Just feels, yeah, feels nice and twitchy. Front end, got a good front end, this car. It does go in. And I'm on normal steering, so sim simulation steering, the car will turn. Or well, it would be a bit more responsive if I use simulation steering. Um, so, yeah, I didn't really know. I mean, I've got this game early here, but um, I've got full access pretty much. Or I can go around the whole map if I want. Um, but I've only got about 60 to 90 minutes ish of story so we'll go through that in this video and uh, experience that but I didn't really have too much of a plan other than that you know just play through it give you my thoughts and again just skip skip ahead to any bit that you might want to see um, I'll put some time stamps oh, where am I going I'll put some time stamps either in the description or in a comment so do take a look or don't you don't have to I can't tell you what to do with your life can I so another big jump I'm guessing there's going to be oh, where am I going I'm guessing there's going to be some showcases where you race when you race against some vehicles like a plane or something I'm sure those will be returning. The hallmarks of Forza Horizon. Oh, bloody hell, what's going on here? The Flamingos are the final boss, I reckon. I've got no doubt about that. Here we go, the Mercedes AMG Project 1. Here we go, lads. Ladies and gents, do not drag. Pilot does not care. Alright, here we go. S1 Machinery. Do it. Right, let's see how this feels. Fast, obviously. Horizon. This is Mexico. Did I say it? Out of the sky. It looks the really good. So I'm sure this bit <laughs> this bit would sound much more um, Engaging or exciting with the uh, music on. Horizon, Mexico, then you are in for a treat, my friends. But, um, get ready for the biggest horizon adventure of your life. But alas, I have turned it off. See you, mate. Oh, here comes the plane. So, lots of very fast roads here. We will take a look at the map in a minute. Um, see the kind of size of it. I mean, it looks beautiful, as I've said. I've said about about 18 times. Here we go. Alright, so this is where we can uh, choose our character. No, we're going to go with uh, this this dude. What kind of choices do we have? Okay, not. I'm guessing there's more options that you can unlock later. That'll do. Alright, black hair. Prosthetic limbs. Alright. <laughs> 
Um, we'll go without those. He and voice. Wait, what do these sound like? Hello. Hello. Can the sound team hear me? Can you hear me now? I can hear you now, mate. Yes. Horizon, you've been amazing. Please give it up for X. <laughs> oh, love good X. I love X. Yeah, great guy. Great guy. Jesco. I love the Jesco. Can I drive it? No. It's a shame. Okay, um, let's go with what have we got here. Let's go with the Supra. Haven't driven it yet. Ah, the A90 Supra, the latest successor uh -huh. to one of the It's most actually a BMW. Good choice, especially if you like drifting. Right, let's drive it. I quite like this car. I like it. It's gotta be the Supra. Number plate uh, change. Great. Yep, How let's do that. Personalized number plate. Super GT. There we go. Okay, so what's that? Eight characters you can change, and then numbers, letters, and then these. Maybe there's more you can unlock. I don't know. We'll find out. I'll get the rest of your cars to the garage. Gives me a little more time with them. Talk about making an entrance. I know you've just arrived, but our first showcase is ready to roll. We just need our superstar. Okay, the map. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure you've all seen it already because it has been released, but it does look big. It does look big. There's there's a lot of roads. It's pretty dense as well. I think it's I think it's like 500 roads, which is a couple hundred more than in previous games, from what I can remember. Hope you're ready for this. Okay, so there's 56 areas you see at the bottom there. Oh. Got two of them. No idea what that guy's talking about, but okay. As you can tell, I'm not much of a drifter. It looks like a lot more, a lot more smoke comes out of the rear tires, though. When you drift for like a couple of seconds, I don't really remember that in the previous games. Okay, here we go. First showcase. Let's do it. And we're gonna do it in this, in a cosy. Beautiful looking car. All right, here we go. In the closet. Now these. This is Scotty Tyler broadcasting to you live from a plane. This time we are throwing everything we have got at this superstar. Let's do it. Now these events are pretty much. Uh, There's a temple on the runway. Temple on the runway. These uh, events are pretty scripted. It's usually a case of just like don't do anything really stupid and then you should win it basically so let's go and do that um car feels good i'm sure that this is the type of car which will do well in um in online multiplayer this is the thing i'm probably keen on doing the most the online multiplayer um so i will play through the game course and you know try to get the money try to rank up and all of this um Fans at the stadium going wild yes what's it gonna take to beat this superstar let's see what else you got and then uh, play online you know always good fun uh, but this type of car from what i remember in forza horizon 4 even 3 these types of the, the hoonigan rally cars hey, hey, hey. Are usually very good off-road. I mean, it doesn't really have the top speed, as you can see. It's like kind of maxing out at 130. Wouldn't probably be all that good in a... 
in a road race. So you could, it feels like you can press the left trigger about 80-90% before it will lock up. So that's 100% and obviously I've got ABS off. So I do need to make sure I don't slam it all the way down. Otherwise it will lock up, which is worse. Okay, so we're racing a couple of bikes now. I, again, it's kind of scripted, so I won't be able to catch up with the bikes no matter what I do. Oh, let's go for the views. So you've got two chase cams um, cockpit view cockpit view again without the wheel hood view bumper view and then chase I always use chase when I'm using a controller I think chase cam works nicely how many gears has this thing got? 8 gears 181 miles an hour there Oh, he would have won if he didn't pull his shoot. There we go. Finish first. Lovely. Get in there, Lewis. Fantastic drive, mate. All right. Let's very quickly watch the replay. Well, not the whole replay. Just let's jump in and just see what the... Uh, so camera angle. So those are the... Yeah. Those angles... What else have we got? I'm going to flick through them very quickly so you get a rough idea. But yeah, it just looks very nice indeed. And that's it. Um, hide the UI. La la la. Okay, that gives you a rough idea. But why, is he, why are his eyes out like that? Keep the car. Thank you very much. God, I must say, it loads very quickly. I'm going to try and edit out all of the loading screens, but... Now, how about some Foo Fighters? No, we're not listening to the Foo Fighters because I turned the music off. But thanks. Um... I, I'm going to edit out all of the like loading screens or as many of them as I can just so this video runs a bit smoother but um, on the Series X we just had a loading screen like a minute ago and it, it was, honestly it was like two seconds very very quick so loading doesn't seem to be a problem at all both in need of a talented driver care to take a look? My friend Carmen is looking to photograph some storms in the area, and she's asked for a driver with strong off-road skills. And Alejandra has requested a driver to help her search for a long-lost bocho. With a bit of time before the next big event, who should we contact first? You sure we can make the schedule work? Yes. I can come back for the other one later. Yes, yeah, sis. Skill points can be spent on any car you own. All right, so we've only got one, so it's got to be that one. But yeah, each car has a, has its own set of these. So yeah, I mean these are familiar. We've seen these before in the, in the previous games. Let's go into the festival to see what's here quick. Okay, um, Forza, Forza on Horizon shop locked. Auction house. Auto show. Buy new cars. Welcome to the auto show. Feel free to browse and let me know if you need anything. Yes. So I'm guessing all of the cars in the game are here right now. I'm just going to go through them very quickly. Again, just pause the game. Just pause the video if you want to, like, see something. But I'm just going to go through this very quickly. So lots of Ferraris. Oh, yes, the F50 GT. Goated machine. I just realised, I said S1 earlier for the Mercedes AMG. That's going to be an S2 car, surely. Formula Drift, so specialist drift cars. They were in the previous games. Jim Carner's 
Lovely. Hummer. Now that's going to be a good vehicle for online. For ramming. Can't wait. So is that. So... Koenigsegg Jesko. Love that thing. Love it, love it, love it. What else have we got? Lamborghinis. That's an interesting addition. Maserati MC12. That's going to be a quick car, I can tell. In S2. McLaren. Speedtail. So yeah, the, these are, these will be quick. Mercedes AMG is a 927 rated car. We've got a truck in there. Nice. Wait, was that the six-wheeler? G63. Yeah. Quite a choice. Plenty of Porsches. Trucks. It's just a range of vehicles really, isn't it? All types of all types of cars, trucks, road cars, dirt cars, off road, tarmac. Zembo at the end. Okay. Upgrade. You upgrade your ride? You've come to the right place. Let me show you around. You can always so you can... trust me, no? No, I don't trust you. Um, so you can uh, upgrade straight to a, the top of a certain class. The setup stuff, again, same as before. I don't think there's anything really different here. Car mastery, we've seen that. Followed players. I wouldn't have followed any players yet. Fine tuning setup, so you download other people's custom upgrades. Let's have a look. Parts for your engine, right here. So the menu's just changed a little bit. Let's just like take a look at this. I've already installed a few of these bits. If you want to change your aerodynamics, it's all here. Oh my word. Look at that. That <laughs> Jesus Christ. That is a that's a wing. Can I put that on? Yes I can. And I'm doing it. Side skirts. Already installed. Front bumper. Okay, we'll leave that. The tires. The tire compound always gives you lots of advantage if you get the grippier compound. Off road tires available. Wait, so semi slick, horizon semi slick, slick, drift, off road, drag, snow, off road. So, this, I think, yeah, all wheel drive. I mean, when you're driving off road, we're going to probably see maybe AWD being OP again, but who knows? Body kit. Ooh, look at that. That is wide. That is thick AF. Yeah, we're doing it. YOLO. Okay, so that's a quick look at the upgrades. Uh, what else can we do? Car collection. These are all the cars you've ever owned. There are some gaps in your collection, though. You should do something about that. So 526 cars, it says there. Um, so I guess, yeah, you collect all of the cars in a certain manufacturer, you get a prize. And that's true of, yeah, of all of them. Okay. Staple of the series. I know motores, but I also know no car is complete without a novelty horn. Okay, let's see the uh, sound effects. The legendary ones. The ones that we're going to be trolling each other with in multiplayer. Oh, that is going to get spammed so much. I... <laughs> but yeah, you get the idea. Loads of horns. <laughs> okay. Number plates. Changing number plate. We've seen that. This festival. Customise your character. Okay, so you can actually, okay, so you can customize your clothing, and I'm guessing there's going to be like plenty of options on these. Ten thousand credits, ten grand for a t-shirt. Yes, please. Legendary flower t-shirt. I mean, once you put that on, you're not going to lose a race ever. Legendary lab coat. Okay, I mean, why not? Why not? Don't judge me. Okay legs 
Socks. You gotta have socks. We we complained about this in Forza Horizon 4 that some players weren't wearing socks. So this is good. This is a good development. Feet, get your shoes. We want those rare Haloma flats. Hats. Oh, you can actually wear a helmet. Silver space helmet. Okay. Yeah. I mean, why not? Sunglasses. Face mask. Wrestler's mask. Wrist. Jewelry. Watches. Hands. Cream mittens. Oh, you can go. <laughs> That's going to be so suitable online. The stick are going to be... So, so many people are going to choose that. Or this. Chicken suit. Oh, yeah. What's this? Can block. Yeah, I mean, that's it. That's the goat of all costumes right there, ladies and gents. We've seen it. His eyes, like, really out. It's kind of weird. Right, where's the dab? <laughs> there it is. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I think these are the same as Horizon 4, aren't they? Cool, right. We've seen... <laughs> That's good fun, isn't it? Right, uh, Forza Link, what is this? Let's see what the phrases are. We'll go for it quickly. So I'm unlocked. I mean, the goat one is obviously... That was some clean driving. So hopefully we've just gone through a lot of the menus that you might have wanted to see and uh, got all those done. Wheel spin. Oh, I missed it. Okay, right, let's go and do this. Oh, it does look... It runs really smooth on this Series X. I don't know what it's going to be like on Xbox One, but all I know on this Series X, it is good. What have I got to do? Okay. Roger that. Okay, so we just need to get to the destination, basically, as quickly as possible. Take a photo, get out. So it's actually, it's nice to handle. I mean, the car, I mean, it just got, it rides those bumps very well. Of course, it is an off-road car, so it should be good off-road. But it feels nice and easy to handle the cars. You know, there's no problem with that. But we do need to try some, maybe. Do you see it in the sun? We need to try like a an S2 car off road. See if that's any good. So do I need to? What do I need to do? Just take a photo. Kind of a rubbish photo, but there you go. Okay, nice and easy. We've kicked off a whole bunch of new events, so it's time for you to get out there and show us what a superstar can do. So. What do you want to do first? So we've got to earn these accolades. Um... Here's where we track your accolades. Everything updates automatically based on what you've achieved here at Horizon Mexico. But right now, all you need to worry about is getting back out there and doing what you do best. These, all these items here, like the speed traps, the events, the races, are within this sort of bit here, I guess. And you just have to complete as many as you can. You unlock more stuff. Is there a prize here? Oh, there is. Collect a car. Ford Focus RS, nice. Okay, right, let's go and do a race. I could go for some racing. So there's an XP board. So let's go and get our first XP board. Is it on the bridge or under it? I'm gambling to say it's under, and it is. All right. What difficulty are we going to do? Let's go with Pro and see how we get on. So I don't really know, I mean, unbeatable normally is pr pretty darn tough to beat, um, but pro, let's see how we get on. So initially, not getting a good launch at all. We need to learn the track very quickly here.
Whoops. Let's restart. So normally these races are like, what, a couple of minutes in length? So I definitely need to break harder than that. I'm just still calibrating my... My brake finger. By no means the perfect lap there, but where are we? Ninth. So it's actually pretty tough. I mean, the AI are quick. I do feel like my car is slow. I mean, that's my excuse anyway. I'm not driving perfectly, though. <laughs> Definitely not driving perfectly. Okay, that was a pretty disastrous race. The AI are pretty quick there. Finish eighth. Well done, CBGC, on your first ever, <laughs> first ever race. Claim our XP and move on. So I actually got... Um, it said that I got some points, accolade points for completing that race. Okay, so you can go through this just by completing the race and you don't have to win it. You get 750 for, for, for completing it, another 250 for winning the race. Oh, I thought I was going to crash then. They ghost out. I forgot about that. Everyone ghosts on these sections. That's fine. It'd probably be better to do this one the other way around. So you've got 750 accolade points there. Is that three stars? Two stars, yeah. Another XP board here. Let's do this. Desert trail, off-road then. Um, I'm gonna stick it on, uh, keep it on pro difficulty and just see how we get on. So this is a sprint point to point race. Percentage completed top left, of course. Where's this corner? But we're going to try and win this one. I'm going to oh, run that guy narrow into the wall. That was a rubbish line. The car just it glides very nicely. It does feel very satisfying. Just trying to get the right line for here. The leader's driven off into the distance already. P6. Look up the inside there. Nearly half the race done. Try and nip past this guy. Get up to the right. The inside here. I need to sort my braking out. I'm not pressing it enough, I don't think. So wait for the wall, the tactical handbrake into the wall. To be a third. Top two were way too quick. It's a short race though, it's only two and a half minutes. Okay, so there's another event done. More accolades reached. Oh, you have to just get from. Let's try that. Turn around when it is safe to do so. Okay, so obviously you want to build up a decent amount of speed going into the start point I think Have to like drive through the flag yeah you have arrived at your destination that's the start gate to a trailblazer now all you have to do is hit the finish gate go 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 Trail. how many stars did I get Three stars. Great okay, work cool. out there. Let's have a closer look at this map quick. Is that a... 
I also think it's like a motorway. Is there a railway? That's probably like a playground area. Another little playground area, little town. Runway in the middle there. Motorway going right the way through the center of the map. I mean, that's gonna be where you're gonna do your top speed runs. Very long, uh, straight, flat out section. So the north side of the map, north corner, little playground area here, up in the mountain. I mean, that's going to be great for drifting, that section there. All of this, these twisty roads. And then this area, which we have been mostly at so far. Um, I just need 200 more accolade points here. So let's do one more race. Right, so fast traveling. How much, can I fast travel right now? 9,000, okay, yeah, so there's 50 boards, 50 travel boards. It will cost you 10,000 credits to fast travel, and then it takes off 200 credits every time you get one of the, tra the fast travel boards. And let's see what happens when you go into the water. I'm guessing you just get reset. Yeah, thought so. Level four, let's do this race. Can we finally win a race? Of course, I mean, like previous games, um, you can go through the, you know, the checkpoint banner, like literally go over it. And you, I think as long as you're pretty much touching it by one pixel, you can go kind of outside of it as well. But as long as you're just touching it. Sorry, mate. Right, let's... Um, what we got here? Very tight corner coming up. Normally the AI are kind of like slow on one little section of the track and you have to really capitalise on that one section. Like that, you just undercut them, taking a slightly shorter route by just not quite going through the, uh, the checkpoints. Well, you're still going for it technically, but you know, you know what I mean. Uh, that's a rubbish line. Still got half the race left though. <laughs> God's sake. Well, so that was an absolutely disastrous race, but let's just get it done. Unlock the next bit of the um, the festival. 12th place well well done super gt this is what we subscribe for on this channel absolute bottle jobs but congratulations to geek monkey 13 for that goated performance right here we go horizon adventure chapter unlocked let's see what this does then hey amigo kelly called to say we're ready to expand Meet me in Mulehe. It's time for our first adventure and another secret Ooh. we've been working on. Okay, my first house. Be there soon, Remy. Be there soon, mate. Let's go and get this first house. Where's this board? Oh, it's up there. I guess you just have to drop off. Yeah, they're not going to be easy to get. They never were, really. Well, some of them are on previous games. Some, a lot of them are very difficult, though. But here we go, first house. Let's have a look. There's an expression in Espanol you may have heard. But this is more than just my house is your house, my friend. This is about home and family. Horizon and Mexico are family. Welcome to your new home. Thank you, mate. And there, is that it? Is that all we get to play? It is. Back to the main menu there. Okay, there we go, guys. It's kicked us out. That's as far as we are allowed to get. Uh, playground employees are going to be dispatched to my house so that I can't play it anymore and going to take it away from me. Um, 
base, I mean, that's just a very quick intro. I hope that kind of covered a couple of things you have, might have had questions on. A lot of it's very familiar from previous games. I think that just gives you a rough idea of what you can expect. It looks beautiful, it plays very well, It's especially on the Series X. And from what I've seen there, it's, it's a fun game. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna enjoy playing it, and you know, I can't wait to get properly stuck in and get some good online races, get some uh, videos going as well. So get yourself subscribed for those when they do come out. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you all around very soon. Have a nice day. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.